You got teed up with that report there. So, Wayne, what do you expect to happen in your state? Well, there's a tremendous level of enthusiasm among Democrats and also among unaffiliated voters who pull Democratic ballots. Uh, from what we're hearing, uh, there's tremendous excitement for uh, the three candidates that you've mentioned, but ultimately the voters will decide, and uh, I'm very looking forward, very much looking forward to the results tomorrow night. Three-way race. If you look, at, if you, uh, look back at that um, NBC Marist poll, just saw it a moment ago, Sanders polling 26%, nearly tied with Joe Biden at 24%, Bloomberg garnering 15%. You said you're hearing a lot of excitement for the candidates there. Who's garnering the most? Well, it just depends on the community and which part of the state you're in. I mean, no matter who wins North Carolina, no matter who becomes the Democratic nominee, they're all going to be unified behind fighting for protecting pre existing conditions, fighting for affordable health care, fighting for better jobs for more people, and for investments in public education. But, but uh, it's really up for grabs. And I'm, I'm very pleased that we have so much excitement. And at the end of the day, the fact that we have record levels of turnout for early vote here in North Carolina, same that we've seen in South Carolina and in Nevada and in New Hampshire, that can mean only great things. When you have more people express their will at the ballot box, that's good for democracy. Well, the uh, Raleigh News and Observer headline is this morning, nearly 800,000 early voters in North Carolina, mainly Democrats, already had their election day. So to back up your point, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham talking about the race in North Carolina, and he made a prediction on this network earlier this morning. I think Joe Biden's going to do well in the South, North Carolina, places where you have uh, large pockets of African-American voters. This is Bernie's nomination to lose, and they're scared to death that Bernie's going to win, and they're going to pull out all the stops uh, to stop Bernie, and I think it's going to split the party right down the middle. Should Bernie Sanders win the nomination, will your party unite around him? No matter who the party nominee is for the Democrats, that person will be hands down better than President Trump. We need someone in there who's not misogynist, who's not having uh, hateful uh, rhetoric, and uh, it's important that we unite behind whomever the nominee is. Um, I don't always listen to Lindsey Graham. In fact, these days, uh, he says a lot of things much different than he used to say, so I'm not really sure how to account for his opinion on it, but what I do know is North Carolina voters will get behind someone who will fight for them, and President Trump is not fighting for opportunities for all. We need a Democrat who is fighting for the pocketbook issues that North Carolina families talk about each and every day and not any divisive rhetoric like we see out of the White so House. So I heard some agreement there with the Republican Senator, uh, Lindsey Graham. Wayne, you, you were agreeing with his point that Joe Biden's going to do well in the South, and he points out North Carolina, places with large pockets of African-American voters. But he went on to say, as you just heard, they're scared to death that Bernie's going to win and they're going to pull all, all the stops to stop Bernie. I think that's going to split the party right down the middle. Respond to that. Well, obviously, he has a biased opinion on that. Uh, nothing would be better for President Trump and for well, what's your uh, opinion Senator on Graham, it? who has. Well, my opinion is that we're going to unite behind our nominee and that uh, we have Democrats that are excited behind, particularly behind. Uh, the three candidates, uh, both Biden as well as Sanders and Bloomberg. And uh, I think with Vice President Biden, he has a long, strong, established record and, and connections with, mm. with uh, the African American community here. We have uh, Senator Sanders who has uh, support in various parts yeah. of the state. I, I and spoke with Doug Jones, as you know, from, and I'm sorry, we're at, running out of time, but I spoke with Doug Jones uh, from Alabama earlier and pressed him three times on whether or not he would rally around and support Bernie Sanders should he be the nominee. He's endorsed Joe Biden um, for the nomination. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't answer me. So it's not all members of the Democratic Party that say that they will reunite around Bernie as the candidate. Final thoughts. Well, this is still too early. It's still too early to call. You've only, had, you've only had four states that have weighed in. And Tuesday, on Super Tuesday, tomorrow, I believe things will be much clearer for all of us, not only for me as the uh, state party chair here, but for you and, and voters. Yep. So let's see what, what when the smoke clears tomorrow night, I think <laughs> I'll be better able to answer the question. We for should you. know a lot more as the day concludes tomorrow. Wayne, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. Okay.